Let me begin by saying I love my job. I love it so much I'm so grateful to be able to do this for a living. But the one thing about my job that is difficult is that when major changes happen in my life, I need to share them. I know I don't have to, you guys. I know I don't have to. But I feel like we're sort of a family here. And it needs to be said. So, yeah. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary Ellen. <laughs> I teach you how to plan in creative and functional ways. But uh, what you might not know about me if you're new is that I have been engaged for a year and a half and now I am no longer engaged. Um, Mike and I decided to end things. We really wanted to make it work because we do love each other, but sometimes love isn't enough. Um, compatibility issues are a real thing and neither one of us could be ourselves in this relationship fully without eventually causing long-term unhappiness for the other. And so, without going into too much detail, um, we decided that long-term, this isn't going to work. It's really sad. It's super sad. I'm okay, but I am, uh, she's, you know, I don't regret any of the time that we spent together. It's just, it's hard, as is any breakup. But it's especially hard, and if you've been through this, you know, you might understand it's especially hard to break up with someone that you care about who didn't do anything bad to you. So we're just going to keep going here. Um, I'm going to get like another cute ring or two to put on for videos, but I didn't do that yet. And now is the time for me to focus on myself and my healing. <sighs> because, you know, if you don't know me, um, I've been through a lot in about the past 10 to 12 years, a lot. <laughs> and so it really is time for me to focus on myself and where I'm going to go from here and all of that kind of stuff. So any life change, any big life change, if you're going through one right now, I understand it throws you into this sort of, you know, topsy-turvy kind of situation where you don't know day to day how you're going to feel. You, you might have some ups, but mostly downs, and you don't know what your life is going to look like, and that is scary. That is very scary, because I am 55, and now all of a sudden, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel lost. And that's normal if you go through a big breakup, or if you go through a death, or something major happens in your life. It, it throws you off balance, and you don't know which way's up and which way's down. So if you're going through something, please know you're not alone. It will get better. If there's anything I know, it's that I can go through hard things and I can be okay. Because even though I've been through some very hard and traumatic things, I always end up being okay. I, like, I am okay. And if you're going through something, you'll be okay too. I know it's hard to see it right now. And I know you might think there's no way. But... You're going to be all right. And sometimes it ends up making sense later. And that's what I'm hoping will happen here. Uh, you know, I want Mike to be happy. I really do. You know, it's it's just super sad all around. And so that's all I'm going to say about it. But I just wanted to mention it so that you guys in the comments weren't like, where's your engagement ring? You know, again, as a content creator who is vulnerable on the internet, there is this um, a little bit of an expectation to let you know of things that go on like this, and I get it. It does make it a little weird because, you know, like um, his family could be watching this, or people that know him, or me, and personally, and and that's weird too. But the nature of my job is this. Again, I know I don't owe you anything. I know I don't have to say a word, but I'm trying to be authentic and real. And I'm also trying to help other people who might be going through similar situations or might be going through a hard time and just to let them know they're not alone. Like you are not alone. Everybody has their stuff. Some people have more stuff than others like me, but we're gonna get through this. We are going to get through this and it's going to be okay. So let's get started on this page. I decided that I want a page 
of things I can do when I'm feeling like I am so sad. When I'm feeling like I don't want to do anything, all I want to do is lay on the couch and watch TikToks or binge watch videos or whatever. Like I need a list of things to do so that I don't spiral. A list so that I can pick something, you know, any little thing. Like, okay, I'll do that. And maybe then it will lift my mood very slightly. Nothing's going to make me exuberant and excited and happy right now, but that's normal. And I think if you just do a little bit at a time to try to lift your mood, it will help. So just because this is, this is from my journal, by the way, it's the February monthly, but just because this is a monthly page doesn't mean I need to use it as a monthly page because there are a lot of ways to use this page that don't even have anything to do with the date, the dates of February. You can use these pages for different ideas, different categories, you can practice lettering, you can do all these things on here. And so I'm probably going to cover up the days of the week and just use this like one block for one thing that I can do to make myself hopefully feel slightly better when I feel like I just can't do anything. This is great if you have depression and I know, listen, if you have true depression, I know that you might not be able to do any of these things. Okay. I understand you might not be able to do one damn thing and that is okay too. You need to prioritize your mental health. And if that means sitting on the couch for a couple days and wallowing in whatever it is you've got going on, you do it. I spent a couple days this weekend and I did absolutely nothing because I didn't feel like I could and that's okay. And if you have true depression, it is going to be very difficult to do these kinds of things. But hopefully, maybe you'll get a couple ideas of the types of things that I mean. And also, maybe this would inspire you to make your own page with things that are meaningful to you or little things that you think you could possibly tackle. Because I feel like we all need to do just some little things here and there to try to help. So that's what I'm doing. All right, that was a lot of talk and let's get down to business here. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I've been dreading making this video, you guys. It's been, I've been dreading it. And I also have a video coming up that I can't post for a couple weeks for, for um, a brand. And in it, I have my engagement ring on and I have two videos coming up like that, one that I have my engagement ring on. And so I feel awkward posting those, but Hopefully I won't get too many confused comments. <laughs> and also it's almost Valentine's Day, so there's that. Whew. Okay, let's start. I have a couple of sticker books here. Beautifully Lined and Love Yourself from Live Love Posh. These just came out. They're really, really cute, you guys. They're really cute. I will link these below. You can use code BUMBLE10 for 10% off anything at Live Love Posh. You also don't have to use my link if you use my code. I will still get credit if you use my code. So thanks for using it. Oh, and I just looked, I just turned off the camera and looked because I wanted to make sure this wasn't sold out and it is. So this one is currently sold out, but Live Love Posh, usually they do restock. So I will link um, their whole shop and you know, you can check out what else they have available. Really cute stickers over there. I also have the Mood and Mindfulness sticker book from the Happy Planner. And I thought I'd use some of these in here as well. So let's get going. And we're just going to see what we can do. I have, I looked at this and I thought this page felt good to me. It's very soothing and sort of neutral, right? Um, and then I could combine it with maybe some flowers in this sticker book. This is a beautiful one as well. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I really want to use these, but I'm going to stick to sort of neutral colors in this. But I thought maybe these, they're really pretty. And, and then I was looking at these, but I don't think they're going to match those other stickers. Let me see. There's also these, which might be cool, but they feel a little harsh for what my gentle page is looking like in my mind. I think I'm going to go back to this page. It feels sort of gentle and self-care like, doesn't it? I don't know. I think before I put anything on the page, what I'm going to do is white out the days of the week because 
like I said, this is not going to be like on Wednesday I do this, on Thursday I do this. This is not even going to be something that I have to do every single day. It is just ideas so that I have a place to go to look when I am feeling down. That's really all it is. Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe putting washi on the top part here. That might make sense. This one might be nice. Why don't I use this? This is Planny Thing washi tape. This is from her new Amsterdam collection. I'll link this for you. You can buy these washies separately now. I just want to cover the top section here because I, I don't like seeing like the individual um, blocks like that. So maybe I should rip it. I don't know how I feel about that, but if I decide to cut it, I can. So basically, I guess this is um, self-care ideas, sort of, right? We all need to prioritize our self-care, and I do neglect it sometimes. I'll be honest. I think we all do have these times in our lives where we're neglecting our self-care because we're busy, we're doing other stuff. But if you neglect it too long, it can then cause you to not feel so great, right? So let's do something for ourselves, and we can feel a little bit better, I think. At least that's the goal. So let me pull a couple of these florals. I think up here I'm going to write something like things to do when I'm sad or like self-care ideas, something of that nature. Ooh, that's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. I hope you can see okay. Maybe I should turn my lights on. It's starting to get a little dark. Let me know in the comments if you like the light better or if you like the natural light from the window better. Now it has been getting a little bit dark, so on a sunny day it might be different. I think I'm just going to put a couple of florals like sort of around here. And if this were for a patron or something, I would white the lines out behind it because I don't really love the lines there. But I'm being gentle on, on myself today, and I don't want to take forever on this video. And I just thought this would be a cute little page, and I'm not going to worry about the lines. So don't feel like you have to do that, you know. Just make a page that you want to make. It doesn't even matter if the stickers are crooked or sloppy. As long as it's something you'll look at and it's cute and it gives you ideas on ways that you can feel better, I think that is the most important thing. So that's why I'm not stressing about the design in this one so much. At least I say that now. And it's going to bug me because I'm putting this down over lines and I don't like that, but we're going to do it anyway because I said we were. Um, now that I put that down, I just realized I covered up two of the days or the blocks, but that's okay. I don't have to have an idea on each block. That's a lot of ideas anyway. Can I come up with that many? I don't know, but I can cover up some of them around, right? Then I just have to fill in the blocks that are not covered, so I can do that. So it's scary when you don't know what is going to happen in your life or you're starting over or you're just um, at a place where the future is sort of a mystery. I like when I feel like I know what's going to happen, but the lesson I've learned in life is you don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to pull this back off. You don't know what's going to happen. So I, I think all we have is the present and I'm really trying to remember that, but it's difficult. You guys, it's very difficult to stay in the present, especially when the present isn't all that great in your mind, right? Dealing with the uncertainty is difficult. Um, I'm trying to change my perspective and look at it instead of feeling like my future is a mystery. Oh no, what am I going to do if it doesn't work out? Where am I going to go? All that stuff. I'm trying to shift my perspective as best I can and look at it as this is an adventure. This is a chance to design my life however I want to design it. And honestly do whatever I want to do and so I'm trying to look at it as more of an exciting thing although I will say you can't always look at it that way you know and I'm not gonna ignore the pain or not go through it just because I want to not feel it you know um, I think it's very important to feel the pain it's hard though it's hard so that's why my brain automatically starts shifting to like what good can come out of this and how how can I look at it differently you know but if you've been with me a while, you, you know, um, I've been through some 
stuff. And that's life, I guess, right? That is life. And it happens, you know, to all of us. Things happen to all of us and we need to find ways of dealing with them and going on and finding happiness in different ways than we thought we were going to. And also, I don't have all the answers, you know, I definitely don't. So if you think I have it all together and like I know, oh my gosh, if I could only do it like Mary Ellen's doing it, I struggle a lot. I just don't struggle on these videos. I'm not crying and, but I, I struggle. I struggle. <laughs> Make no mistake, but I guess I just feel like I want to encourage people. And you know, when you go through hard times, sometimes that helps a little bit to encourage others and help other people, you know? All right, let's look at these stickers here. And also I, I found this washi. I thought this was cute. I don't love that with this. Um, I might take that off. I liked it at first, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not even really the same color as that. I am going to take this off at the top. We'll work on what we're going to put there. And I don't really love the stripe stripe action up there either. So I can put stickers, some stickers on top and then like washi in between maybe. Let's look at these. Let's take this candle that says breathe. Um, and we'll just put, like I said, a couple of stickers and then we'll put washi tape around them, I guess. Oh, I forgot I was going to write up here things. Hmm. Maybe I should move that candle down. Since we have that candle up there, let's let's put these candles towards the bottom. These little like things down here. I like this. Protect your energy. This says, "Don't think too much." Just do what makes you happy. Love. Um, and then maybe like some other green thing down here, right? Like this little breakfast or whatever it is. It looks like some fruit and oatmeal bowl and like this little book and little cappuccino or something. I think that's cute. Okay, I haven't forgotten that I want to use that Happy Planner book too. I don't want to put too many stickers on here, but I think I do want to put a couple of little like boxes or something, and I have to look and see if that's going to match. Here's another candle that says happiness. Let me just put it right there. Okay, let's look at that Happy Planner sticker book. So there's these green ones here, which I thought would be good to use. And then the ones that are sort of orangey might match as well, right? Or no, these pinkish ones, I think. How about this one? Love yourself well. I'm going to put it near those flowers there. Express yourself. I like this one day at a time. I, oh, I like refresh your soul. I like that better. That feels right to put on here, doesn't it? I think so. Okay, refresh your soul. Let's put it, it needs to be on this side, I think. And it matches this color, so I like that. Okay, let's put it right here. Again, there's lines behind it. Don't care all that much. Ooh, I really like these. I thought these would be fun to like write a couple of the ideas on. Not for like everyone, but maybe for a few of them. Okay. If you don't have the sticker book, I really like this one. I did a spread in my journal with it. It's so cute. I'll link that for you as well. I like this. Time for some R&R. &R. I kind of want it here. I don't love how that ends there, but maybe we can move that candle up a little bit and put it next to it. 
so it covers up that little area there. Not too high though, I need to write up there, I think. Okay. Um, we need some more green, I think, of this green over here, maybe. Ooh, I like disconnect to connect. Now, with my job, I can't really disconnect, but I can try. I can do my best to do it a little bit at a time. So I think I need to. I think it can get very overwhelming being online so much, and I need to kind of do more of that disconnecting. Now, there are some ideas in here that are already written out. It gets some sunshine, R&R, &R, go offline. Um, but I think I'm just going to write in my own this time. Like here's some more make something lovely, like all that kind of stuff. So if you like those kinds of little prompts, I think this book would be great for you. We definitely need something right there. Let's take this sticker, this little thingy, whatever those are called, those little diffusers. <laughs> I need to cover up this little section with some washi. I think I am gonna take this little washi tape. I believe this is Happy Planner brand. I think this came from, uh, I'll link it for you. I know exactly the pack it came in, but I forget the name of it. I think this is cute. It has like rose gold polka dots on it. Really fun. So I hope they still have it available. Okay, that is cute. It feels more gentle than the gray, which I like. And maybe we can put some down at the bottom too. Let's take a little bit and put some right here above this. Maybe we can throw some in right here. Maybe right there. Okay, that's enough washi for now. I might add in some later, but I don't think so. And it's time to write. So up here, it's going to say, like I said, hmm, I kind of want to write things to do when I'm sad, but that doesn't sound right. We'll do self-care ideas, I guess. I could do like self-care ideas for when I'm feeling down or to cheer myself up or something like that. So um, let's get, how about a Tombow like in this color maybe? I have one right here. I don't know if this is gonna be right. Let's test it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So here I'll write self-care ideas, and I'll do something else there. I think I'm going to write ideas in a different pen. Maybe like a Muji. This one is a 0.38. Now we'll go ahead and outline this. Okay, I have some ideas written out on the side here, and we're just going to talk about each one as I write them in. I know, fun times here on Planning with Bumbles. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Anyway, <laughs> I just thought maybe it would inspire you if you're feeling down. Who knows? Oh, one of the things that I won't write on here is watch Planning with Bumble videos. Yeah, that could be on your list. Not mine. That will not help me. <laughs> okay, obviously... The first thing you think of when you're thinking of self-care, get outside and take a walk. Okay, I'm not doing any special lettering on this, just so you know. I just want to write it down, and so that's what we're doing. I think getting outside is super, super important. Everyone needs vitamin D. Wear your sunscreen, folks. Wear your sunscreen, but get outside for at least a little bit every day if you can. That is my goal this year to do that. And I have been doing that because I have to walk the dog, which helps. Um, and it always helps me. I feel like it always helps my brain a little bit, unless it's rainy or snowy. And then in which case all bets are off. This one, I'm just gonna write face mask because I feel like I don't do that enough. And I think it really could help me, you know, just kind of refresh my skin. I don't have to do that. My skincare really consists of um, a gentle soap and sunscreen. That's really it. And, and my sunscreen is like a moisturizer sunscreen combination. That's all I do. Um, so I don't have to do a face mask. I don't think it makes such a big difference, but, um, I think it would feel good once in a while. I also have a foot mask that Allie gave me for Christmas that I need to do too. I can put a little sticker there because we have a space. Yep. That's how we do it here. With a little leaf. 
goes right into that, but that's okay. All right, this next one is pretty obvious as well. Read a book. I'm a huge reader. I love to read. You might have seen my reading tracker that I posted um, earlier this week or last week and love, love, love it. So reading a book is self-care for me and I love doing it. I'm going to write meditate here. This is one of my habits this year. I was doing it for a little bit, but I fell off. And I think because I was just having such a hard time in my personal life, but I want to get back to that. And I'm going to write or deep breathing. At least if you're not going to meditate, like you could just do a little bit of deep breathing can always help. It can't hurt anyway. I'm not going to write anything in this because there's hardly any room there. But here I'm going to write, listen to some uplifting music. And then underneath I'm going to write something new because I want to discover like new bands or new singers and stuff, or at least ones that I haven't heard before that much. And the reason for that is because music, and I've discussed this before on my channel, it's hard for me. Music is hard for me these days. There's only a small amount of time, a time period that I can like have music that won't trigger me in some way. And um, now there's even more. Uh, so I am working on that but for now I want to discover new music that makes me feel good so that's kind of what I'm gonna do. This one is call a friend self-explanatory that always makes me feel better or text a friend. Drive to Starbucks. Treat myself. Yeah. I used to do that a lot but I don't now. I mean I hardly ever like for the past couple of years, I haven't been doing that, but once in a while, a good venti salted caramel cream cold brew would be nice. That's my go-to drink. Or an iced coffee. This one will be do my nails because sometimes it just feels good to have a nice fresh manicure. And I could also go out to get a pedicure. I don't like doing pedicures myself because it's hard to see my toes because my eyesight's not great. And then I have to con contort myself to do it. But um, yeah, but I do my nails at home and sometimes a refresh is what's needed to make myself feel just a touch better. Here I will write tidy up because sometimes when I'm feeling really sad, if I straighten up my area um, or even like vacuum or something, just make it cleaner in here a little bit and less cluttered. I feel a lot better. That is actually something that really affects my mood, but I'm not the cleanest person in the world. I'm not, you know, awful about it, but it definitely could be cleaner in here. You know what I mean? And that's part of my habits too, that that's hard for me, but just even picking up my area so that it looks pretty, you know, it, it means something to me to look around and have some, I guess it's like an aesthetic thing. And, that, and you can probably tell since I like art stuff. So it, it makes sense, right? That I want my surroundings to be pretty. So that's part of that. Here I'm going to write yoga or stretching. I've got, I've got to do that more. I've got to get moving here and um, do more for my body. And I think that could help. This one will be do a crossword puzzle or a word game because I love word games. I love puzzles. Really, I, I really like doing that kind of stuff. It relaxes me. This one will be change my sheets, wash my sheets, my pillowcases, my duvet cover, all that kind of stuff. There's nothing like going to bed at night with clean sheets. It's just something about it makes you feel slightly better, I think. This one will be watch a Hallmark movie because for some reason those cheesy Hallmark romance movies make me feel so good and they're so dumb. I don't even do it that much. But there's something about it that that brightens my day a little bit. And it's ridiculous because they're very fake and the plots are, are so predictable, but I like them and it makes me, I don't know, just like if I curl up with a blanket and sit and watch a Hallmark movie with like, I don't know, 
I'd like to say a cup of tea, but I don't drink tea. So maybe like a cup of iced tea. But yeah, I could go to Starbucks, pick up my iced coffee, and sit and watch a Hallmark movie. Now, of course, I have to work. So, <laughs> but I ha I'm lucky enough to have a flexible job so I can, you know, choose my hours. So I could do that in the morning if I'm feeling really down. And then in the afternoon and evening, I could work in theory. Most likely what would happen is I would do it in the morning and then the afternoon I would work and then the evening I wouldn't. But that's okay too, as long as everything works out at the end of the week. Okay, here I'm going to write light a candle or do some sort of aromatherapy thing. I do not like that. Wait. I can't live with that bad handwriting right now for some reason. Now I have white out though. Is that worse? Probably. There wasn't enough room for aromatherapy, so I'm going to split it up. I like smells, as most of us do. Good smells, that is. And I don't think, like, to light candles enough or... My favorite thing now is... I did this only one time, but those... Um, what are they called? The things you put on the stove. Oh my gosh, it's not coming to me. Uh, it's like the potpourri kind of thing that you... you boil on the stove. It's like a, oh my gosh, why can't I think of the name of it? But anyway, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oranges and little cinnamon sticks and stuff. You put it on the stove and it makes your house smell nice. That's even healthier for you than candles or anything like that. So that kind of thing, any sort of smells maybe would brighten my day. Here I will write, write in my journal, which I do anyway, but you know, this could mean extra journaling like really get down and dirty, journal out my feelings, or it could mean being really decorative in my writing and just getting my feelings out. Like, you know, you've seen my after the pens for my journal, that kind of thing. This one will be take a long shower, a long hot shower, even though I know that cold showers seem to be better for you. So they say, can't bring myself to do it, but sometimes hot shower really helps me to feel a little bit better in my brain, have some more perspective, you know. Here I'm just going to write cry it out. So it's really good for us not to shove our emotions down. That's super important for healing. It's something I struggle with as well. I, I am a positive person by nature, so I try to look at what good can come of this and what's the, how could it be worse and like what the best part of this is. And that's what my brain automatically wants to do, which is great because it does help me feel better. But in the beginning, when you're going through something, when you're struggling, when something bad happens, or, you know, at least in the beginning, you need to process those feelings. It's so important. And otherwise they can get stuck. They can come out as physical ailments. They can come out in different ways emotionally. And it's just super important to go through, um, your stuff, like go through it. I don't want to do it either, you guys. I don't want to do it, but I'm, I'm really trying to remember to do that because if you ignore it and you compartmentalize it and stuff, it just is not great for you and it won't promote healing and all of that. So as hard as it is, sometimes you just have to cry it out because that's what your body needs. It needs that release. So here I will write, move my body. because I'm trying to bring more exercise into my life anyway, and exercise really does help your mood. It is a mood lifter, and I know this, but it's so hard when you're feeling down. It's so hard to get yourself to do it. I understand, it's so difficult, but if you just do a little bit maybe, tell yourself you're gonna do it for two minutes, you know, or five minutes, or whatever. You're gonna do, um, you know, run in place, dance for a minute. Um, sometimes then you want to do a little bit more. And um, once you get your blood pumping and everything, it, it really does help. That being said, it is really hard to get myself to do that right now. But these are ideas that I could take with me. And that's something that has been proven to help. Okay, right here, I'm going to write, check something off my to-do list. You might say, Mary Ellen, how is that self-care? Well, for me, 
if I check something off, it helps me feel a little bit productive. It helps me feel less like a slug. And it takes a little something out of my brain so that I'm not so overwhelmed. Um, still overwhelmed because I always am, but that takes a little portion of the overwhelm away. And that in itself helps my brain not to be as cloudy. So if you have ADHD, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, check you know, one or two things off always helps me a little bit mentally. Here I'm gonna write, try a new recipe. And this one I almost didn't put on because I am not someone who loves to cook. I'm not. But I will say it is fun if I try a new recipe and I really like it. That being said, I haven't cooked a new recipe in a very long time. Allie and I get HelloFresh every night. We've been getting, or every week we get like three or four meals. We've been getting them since I moved into this apartment. So I'm not trying new recipes, but I think I want to get into that a little bit. Just anything to maybe spark some excitement in me. And this might be different for you. Like, uh, the, so, oh, so the next one, well, I'll write it here. And that, that kind of relates to that. Right here, I'm going to write research new hobbies because I guess my goal right now is to sort of find myself again and what I enjoy and what I like to do. And when I discovered planning, it was so exciting, you know, like it was a new hobby for me and I loved it. I still love it. But now that it's my job, I need other hobbies outside of planning and I don't have any, you guys. I really do not have any. I have reading. I guess you consider that a hobby. I can't think of one other hobby and I'd like to do something outside of planning. So I've been meaning to do that. So I'm going to write it down here. It gives me something to look forward to and maybe something different to stimulate my brain so that it's not the same old monotonous thing. Because when you get into this monotony day in, day out, and you're like, woe is me, my life is terrible, it's the same thing every day, you need to sort of switch it up and try new things. And I know it's hard. <laughs> and I'm going to just tell, like, I'm not going to say that every time. What I'm going to tell you is I know all of this is hard. Every single thing on here can be hard for you. But if you get out of, like, that pattern, sometimes that will help. Even if, um, I was reading this the other day. So even if, like, say when you get out of the shower, you wipe, you have a certain way that, like, you use your towel, like, to first maybe you'll dry your hair and then you might do this arm and then this arm and then your legs or whatever or the way you brush your teeth like which hand do you use um, or the order you do things in when you're getting ready or anything else if you do one thing differently it can sort of like be a mind shift a little bit and and shake things up brush your teeth with your left hand instead of your right or like do things out of order um, I've read that that can help your brain in some way. I don't know. So researching new hobbies because I want to try new things and maybe get excited about something like new. Here, oh, I'll do this in a second. Here I'm going to write, listen to a podcast. I love listening to podcasts. My go-to podcasts are usually true crime, but um, I also really like mental health podcasts and self-improvement podcasts. Those are really good. And I would love it if I could tell you some names of podcasts that I listen to and I cannot think of any off the top of my head, except for the true crime ones, which are morbid and my favorite murder. I'm going to write or, or an audiobook because I do listen to audiobooks as well. And that sort of goes along with reading a book, but it's a little different because you're listening to it. If you have any good podcast recommendations, leave them in the comments because I do really love podcasts. Here I'm going to write, sit out on the patio. Of course, this depends on the weather. And as we go into spring, that will be sort of a refresh. If I'm having a bad day, I can go sit outside and eat my lunch or drink my coffee in the morning or, um, I don't know, have a glass of wine before dinner. Not on a weekday because that is my goal, although I haven't been good this past week, but you got to forgive me. But um, yeah, that kind of thing, because being outside again, really, really helps me. At least it helps me. And I think it would probably help a lot of people. Okay, this next one is go to the store, go shopping. And I'm just going to write and buy a new 
outfit. That doesn't necessarily mean a whole outfit, but it might mean a piece of clothing. I'm not someone who goes clothing shopping very often. In fact, I hardly ever do. And I think just getting to wear something new and fun and something that looks good on me or whatever might help my mood a little bit. That's not something I'm going to do every week or anything like that because I, you know, money, but every once in a while I, th I need to remember that, hey, you can go out, you know, down the street and go try on some clothes. Um, I don't love it though. That's why I don't do it that much. Okay, so this one I will write practice lettering or doodling because let's face it, I love to do both and I do need to practice. So it makes sense to write it here because sometimes I forget to just have fun with it if I'm not filming a video because I feel like everything I do has to be content and that is not true. So that is my reminder that I can just do it for fun. This one, um, I'm gonna write it here because this looks kind of busy here and this is sort of long. Schedule something to look forward to because what I've noticed in the past year is I didn't have a lot to look forward to and it really affected my mood because I would start to spiral like into more of a depression if I didn't have anything on the horizon of, oh yeah, well at least I have that thing coming up, you know, and I think that's important for my mood. So what this might mean is even just, it could mean a vacation or it could just mean like dinner with a friend or something in the future, concert, whatever. Okay, here I'm gonna write do my hair and makeup, which is on my habits, but I've slacked off on that too because like I said, depression. Um, but daily, my goal is to just make myself presentable enough so that I could do like some quick content or something, like film something quick. But this might mean like actually making myself look good and then I could go to Starbucks and then I could come back and watch my Hallmark movie <laughs> or call a friend, you know. So some of these could be combined, but I think doing my hair and makeup, make myself look prettier, curl it or something, you know, could always brighten my mood a little bit. Okay, here I'm going to write buy myself flowers, like that Miley Cyrus song that I'm not going to sing, but I did that the other day. Um, I went to the grocery store and got groceries and I saw these pretty daisies. I love daisies and I decided to buy them for myself and then I came home and I sang the song to myself and then I put them on um, the counter and then Wallace found them and ate them and ruined them. So there you go. But next time I won't buy daisies. Speaking of Wallace, we're going to talk about the pets. Cuddle or play with the pets because there's something about animals that they're so innocent and they're so loving and they make you feel good and they're a mood lifter and they make you feel connected to something alive. And if you live alone, you know what I mean. Um, so that's important. And now I have one more space pretty much and I don't have any more written out. I actually could fit a couple more in here. I'm going to leave these blank and then that way if anything comes up in my mind that I can put down on here, I have room to do it. I am going to put something little here, maybe like a little leaf or something. Maybe right there, right? Okay, um, maybe up there. Wait. <laughs> I know, I know. I thought I was done. I'm almost done. Okay, just a little something there. I don't know. All right, so that is that. My self-care ideas for when I'm feeling sad. Let me know in the comments what you do for self-care when you're feeling down. I would like to have more ideas to add to my list. But these are things that I hope will help. And it, like I said, it's the little things. I know this was a long video. I hope you got something out of it. If so, please leave a comment below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like this kind of content, um, please subscribe because I am going to be sharing more mental health related content this year. I am really actively going to be working on my healing from a lot of trauma. And if you like some inspiration along the way or ideas on how to incorporate that kind of stuff into your planner, I would suggest, um, yeah, subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And it helps me out as well. So... Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.